Hi, this is Bren Antrim, a librarian at Santa Monica College. Today we're going to do a database tour of opposing viewpoints in context. This is a really good database to go to if your instructor tells you you have to write a paper or do a presentation and you can choose your own topic. Most of the time when that happens to people, their brain goes blank. So here's how we help you with that problem. On the college homepage, mouse over student support and click on library. Your interface may look slightly different because we're being redesigned, but the search strategy should be the same. Once you're at the library homepage, scroll down to the databases button. Before we leave this page, I want to bring your attention to the Ask a Librarian button. This is 24-7 chat reference help, so if you need help at any time during your search, you can always go to the library homepage and ask a librarian. Now heading into the databases, all Databases gives you a list of all of the databases that Santa Monica College subscribes to alphabetically by title with a short description of what's in each database. So we scroll down to Opposing Viewpoints and Context. When you click on that, you may be asked to log in. If so, please use your Canvas login to access the databases. You could just browse through the issues of interest. You could search for a specific topic, although honestly, if you're here, you may not have a specific topic in mind. Or you could come down and you could browse by area. So if you're interested in environmentalism or society and culture or science and technology, you can go to issues that are specifically about that. If you just have too many ideas and you just don't know, you can browse all 480 issues that are covered in this database. If you get here and feel a little bit overwhelmed, you can go back up to Topics and you can view by area again. Okay. So I'm going to pick one that has um, recently been updated. Oh, vaccines, there's a good one. The first thing it does is give you an overview of the topic that allows you to read more about it. This tells you the date of the topic, where it's from and who publishes it, what it is, and even how long it is. As you scroll down, it gives you ideas, what's covered, and then it goes into more depth on those ideas with live links to various things that it talks about. At the bottom, if you want to use this, you can use the MLA or APA version of citation. Copy it and paste it. When you put it in your paper, make sure that you fix it before you turn it in. Things like font size and type and double spacing and hanging indents. There may even be some missing elements or something that's not quite created correctly. So always use the template that your instructor gives you when you use a citation from a database to fix it before you turn it in. Along with this overview, you have a number of other items available to you. It gives you related articles, it gives you article contents, and it gives you broader related subjects. Vaccines, of course, being related to public health and also epidemics. So if I want to explore a little bit more about this, I can go back up one link to the topic. And at the bottom of that page, it's broken down by format of information that it gives you. Viewpoints are pro-con essays on the topic. Academic journals, of course, scholarly information. Reference are actually chapters from books or essays. More viewpoints, more pro and con. Infogra infographics, <laughs> images, videos that you can watch, audios that you can listen to, current news reports from various sources, popular periodicals like magazines, websites, and statistics that you can use. And then it gives you more related topics. So as you can see, this is a very, very rich database. It is not, however, a one-stop shop. Opposing Viewpoints is a good place to get your topic, figure out 
what to look for with your topic, maybe some words that you can use when you go into other databases and into your book searches, but try not to get all of your information from one database ever. Databases, no matter how good they are, will always have a relatively prescribed outlook or, or overview. So you'll want to get views from various different sources. You'll want to have a couple of different ebooks um, and print books, perhaps, if you have that option. You want to get a couple of different databases, maybe three or four. You want to get some videos. You want to get some current information from people who are currently doing research on the topic, maybe a, a blog or an interview or a, a video. So you want a good mix, a diverse mix of um, various information sources. But opposing viewpoints in context is a great way to start your search. Good luck with your research. If you need help, ask a librarian and be well.